Yesterday, Governor Cuomo laid out his tax plan during a State of the State preview. He says he wants to freeze property taxes across New York State for the next two years, but there is a catch to that. In order for them to freeze, towns and cities have to stay at or below the 2% spending cap and would have to have a plan to consolidate and share services in the future. The administration says a projected $2 billion surplus from its 2% spending cap will fund the proposed tax breaks in the form of rebates. And for school districts, there's incentive for them to merge. Right now, voters are at the polls in Fulton County deciding whether two districts there should become one. Matt Markham joins us live now from Mayfield with more. Hi, Matt. Hi, Greg, and it's a very emotional issue that at least tonight will be put to rest or at least maybe put on hold. Budgets have been tough in the last few years, and there have been many, many cuts. So we're look and uh, declining enrollment. So we're looking at putting the schools together, potentially. The lever will come down on the merger vote tonight after a cold day that couldn't keep neighbors away. Northville superintendent says her district is running out of money between increased mandates and decreased aid, putting staff positions and the quality of education in jeopardy. Her district initially rejected a merger in a straw vote. Some here still don't want it. It might be better for the kids, but this is a small community. I've been raised in a small school, and... Uh, it's just I've seen a big school district and the taxes are 10 times what they're here in Northville. Nine miles to the south in Mayfield, several voters say money will be saved forming a new district together. I'm voting yes, yeah, so I'll tell you. And uh, I just hope Northfield goes along with it so we can mer move the, the merger on and I think uh, it's, it'll be beneficial to everybody. On the heels of Governor Cuomo's plea for governments to consolidate, Mayfield's top administrator says a district with Northville could receive $18 million in incentive aid over the next 14 years. Joseph Natal admits there may be some initial cost to meet, especially for residents in Northville, where he says true tax rates are lower, but the savings he believes will add up. When you consider the governor's comments about communities sharing services, does that factor into this at all, too? Well, I think there's certainly economies of scale as a merged district. For example, there's only one superintendent versus two. You consolidate all of the business functions. Uh, class sizes become more efficient in terms of numbers. And the polls are open until 8 o'clock. Uh, administrators hope to have some answers by 930. Greg? All right, Matt, we obviously don't know what happens tonight, but whether it's yay or nay, what does happen next? Well, there are two things. If the school district merger actually goes through, uh, then you'll start to see things happen very quickly. In February, you'll have a board decided. Uh, then uh, later on in July, the merger actually becomes official and they start making plans for two elementary schools, one in Mayfield, one in Northville, a middle school in Northville, and the high school would be here in Mayfield. If the vote doesn't go through, they can go at it again in a year and a day to have another vote, no sooner before that. Uh, and administrators tell us, uh, if that's the case, they're going to have to watch their budgets pretty close. All right, Matt Markham, next for you. Go inside and get warm reporting live tonight for us from Mayfield. Thanks, Matt.